All right, guys, this video is going to be a bit different than what you're normally used to. And before I even begin to tell you, I just want to apologize to anybody that I may offend. You know the videos that I put out, you know the content that I put out. I never want to go after a specific person or a specific business or a specific anything. It's not my point to give advice. I give you what I do and you can take it or leave it. But this situation is a bit different. I'm going to share with you guys a bad experience I had with PigeonAuction.com. Just to make you guys aware before you think about buying or selling. A couple months ago, a buddy of mine calls me up and says, Hey dude, I'm moving out of state. I'm taking some of my birds. I'm going to sell some of my birds or I sent some of my birds for sale. And in that mix up, I sent a bird that was a phenomenal racer. Always on the sheets won a 300 mile race, won a 500 mile race, a real consistent hen, blue hen. Give me a heads up if I want to add her, go ahead and bid the pedigree, the information that's on pigeon auction is incorrect. He sent me the correct information, show me the race results, uh, just to confirm that that was the bird, that was the band number. He said, if I want, go ahead and bid. And of course, who wouldn't want such a bird in their lot? So I placed the bid, I won the auction, in my excitement, here I am scrolling through iPigeon now. And of course, I find a bird I can't live without, right? There's always that one. So I placed a bid on that one, and I won that one as well. Just like Pigeon Auction, within a couple days, I got a confirmation that the bird uh, that I won the auction. Actually, within the next day, I got a confirmation that I won the auction. Uh, payment went through, uh, the seller's information, all that good jazz. With iPigeon, Everything went perfect. Immediately, I got in contact with the owner. The owner shipped the bird out within three days, gave me any additional information I needed. Actually, we became pretty good friends. Uh, as of next year, we're talking about maybe receiving some birds for our classic race this year. So my experience was great. Back to pigeon auction. A couple weeks go by, I get nothing. I email my buddy or I call my buddy. I said, hey dude, I didn't get anything. He goes, hey, you know, it's hot. Maybe that's why they didn't ship it. Give it a little while, go from there. So I wasn't too amped. I already got the one bird from my pigeon, so I was kind of calm. A few weeks go by, actually close to a month goes by, I still get nothing. My buddy calls me up, hey man, did you ever get that bird? No, nope, nope, I didn't get anything. I went ahead and emailed Pigeon Auction. They got back to me. Um, I forgot exactly what they said, um, why they didn't ship the bird, but it's gonna get shipped within the next couple of days. They provided me a tracking number. So I waited. A week goes by, I get nothing. Here's the second week after we've made contact with each other. I get an email, hey, did you receive your pigeon? I email back, I have the tracking number stating that the label was created, but the bird was never delivered. So how can I possibly get my bird? I call my buddy, my buddy's like, hey dude, they're telling me your card didn't go through. He's getting totally different information than what I'm getting. Well, long story short, my buddy sent these birds to Randy almost a year before he posted them. Eight or nine months before he posted these birds, before I won that auction. Had I known this information, I think I would have been a bit more cautious on, you know, bidding on the bird. But needless to say, it, it, you know, it was done. What was done was done. Here I am waiting for this bird. So I'm calm. I didn't want to start any issues. I want to get the bird. And I did. It took another two weeks before I got the bird. It's here. It's really light. But I think I can recover it. But then I'm thinking, why would this person keep somebody's pigeons for almost a year? What would they stand to gain? And little did I know, Randy himself races pigeons. And he knew the information. He knew the pedigree of these birds. He kept them that long so he can breed out of them himself. Now, you're a place of business. You're going to take somebody's bird and breed out of it? I think that's wrong. I think that's very wrong. And that's the only reason I'm making this video, to make to make you guys aware of it. I mean, take it or leave it, guys. If, if you guys have had good experience with pigeon auction, then disregard this. But if you haven't, think twice. Know where your bird's coming from before you place that bid. As for pigeonauction.com, I think it's a joke. The way I was treated was very poorly. The information was incorrect. What I was told and what my buddy was told, of course, they didn't know that we were buddies and that I, you know, I bought it basically from him, but through a pigeon auction. So they're telling him that their horse ran into the barn and some of the birds got out. Now it's possibly one of the birds. 
I mean, just just a, a, a run around over this pigeon. Needless to say, I myself will never buy or sell anything on iP or anything on PigeonAuction.com. A buddy of mine, I shared the story at the club, and a buddy of mine said he ordered a bird, and they shipped him a common. They shipped him a bird without a band. He said he looked like a common pigeon. Luckily enough, he was able to get his money back, and he just let the bird go. I mean, what are you going to do with a common bird? But I mean, that's how you run a place of business. And I'm sure that there are plenty of employees there that are at no fault whatsoever, and I'd hate to slander a company, but I feel like, again, I owe it to you guys to let you guys know from my experience and just make you guys aware of it more than anything. I think the way it was, it was conducted was very poorly, very wrong. You don't do that. You don't. You're a business, man. I mean... Am I wrong to think that, guys? Am I wrong to think that this person breeding out of the birds that he's been sent to sell? And on top of that, he was sent, you know, 20, maybe 30 birds. And since then, he's only posted about 12. So where are the rest of the birds? Like, how can you do a person so wrong? My buddy's beyond frustrated. He's at the point where he's just going to go there and get the birds himself. Because they've, they've been there for almost a year and not posted. And nobody, you know damn well nobody's going to keep somebody's, a stranger's bird if it doesn't stand to benefit themselves. And that's what he's doing. He's breeding out of those birds because he has the pedigrees, he sees the results, he knows the name of the person, and here he is breeding out of somebody else's bird that that person trusted to post and sell. So again guys, I apologize if I offend anybody. You know this is not the content I like to put out, but it is what it is and I'm going to make you guys aware. If I'm wrong, I apologize. It is what it is, guys. Again, I myself will never post or sell, buy anything from PigeonAuction.com. I'll stick primarily to iPigeon if I want to sell something or if I want to look at buying something. So, if you guys ever want to get anything from me, that's where you'll find me. Hate to make the video. I thought long and hard before making it, but it's, it's wrong and I feel like I need to tell you guys. As for the way the rest of the season's going, it's a little rough to start. I'll make a video sharing that information. But I'm slowly starting to come to realize that you can't overwork a pigeon. You can't overtrain a pigeon. They need equal rest as they get trained. I mean, that's just, I think it's imperative and I'm starting to find that out. And of course, I found out the hard way. But we'll see in the next few races if my performance my performances increase then I'll know for sure that that's what I'll, that's where the mistake was if not then I don't want to tell you guys ahead of time in case you guys are training heavily and it seems to work for you I'll catch you guys in the next one again hopefully I didn't offend anybody and I apologize ahead of time but let's hope the next video is going to be more positive see you on the next one guys